Good morning. Good morning. I pray that you are doing well today. It is a gorgeous day in Western PA here today. Um, I am thinking of changing the time of our devotional on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've had a lot of people say they have a hard time coming on live uh, during the in the mornings. So I'm thinking of changing it to uh, noon Eastern time. Just going to try it on Thursday, see how it goes. Maybe I'll even come on live this afternoon and share a little bit too to see if I can get a few more followers to join us. We have lots of people throughout the day that watch the replay, but they just can't make it here for the actual devotional first thing in the morning. So let me know what you think. Do you think I could do maybe a, a live at noon Eastern time? How does that sound? Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's devotional. So today's scripture is a beautiful verse from Song of Solomon 2.4. And it says, he has brought me to his banquet hall and his banner over me is love. You know, this is just such a unique book. The Song of Solomon is a, an amazing collection of love poems, and they celebrate the relationship ship between a bride and her bridegroom. And while it's absolutely beautiful as a picture of human love, there's something even deeper here. It shows us how much God loves us. So let me paint a picture for you. In those days, a banquet hall wasn't just a dining room. It was where the biggest, most joyful celebrations happen. Think about wedding feasts, royal parties, th times of absolute abundance and celebration. It was a place where everyone felt welcomed and valued and cherished. And that banner. Back then, armies would march under these huge banners or flags that showed everyone who they belonged to. It was like wearing your team colors that we do today, but it meant so much more. It meant you were under the king's protection. And when you saw a banner flying over someone, you knew exactly whose they were and who was protecting them. So when we read this verse, it's telling us something incredible about God's love for us. First, he doesn't just invite us in. He brings us into this place of celebration and abundance. Think about it. We don't have to sneak in the back door or wonder if we belong. The king himself brings us in and then he covers us with his banner of love. It's like he's declaring to the world, this one, she belongs to me. So under his banner of love, um, we find protection and identity and belonging. And it's like being wrapped in this warm, warm blanket with his presence, knowing we're exactly where we belong. We don't have to earn his love or achieve it. We're invited. We're brought to the banquet hall by our loving father. And then once we're there, we can truly relax and celebrate because our host has taken care of every single detail. Now, I don't know what you're going through today, but isn't it comforting to know that you are under God's banner of law? Maybe you're feeling uncertain about where you belong, or maybe you're worried about what is ahead. And this verse reminds us that we have a place at God's table and his love is our protection. And you know what happens when we're experiencing this kind of love? We can't help but radiate it to other people, right? It's like we become a little banquet hall ourselves, inviting other people to come and taste God's goodness, to experience his incredible love. And when we truly understand that we are covered by his banner of love, it changes how we see ourselves and how we treat others. So today, let's remember that we're celebrating under God's banner of love. Let's rest in the joy of his presence and let his love shine through us to everybody that we meet. Isn't it amazing how a love poem written so long ago can speak so powerfully to our hearts today? So I want you to walk confidently and knowing that wherever you go today, his banner of love goes with you, declaring to the world that you belong to him. I pray that you have a very, very blessed day. If you're watching this on replay, make sure you type in replay and make sure you like the video too so that we can share it with others. Thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye.